Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, in this lecture, it's not a big deal because uh, we have already discussed these formulas, Lagrange's interpolation formula and Newton's divided difference formula. In this, uh, you just have to do a one second step more. Uh, these two formulas are typically valid for unequally spaced data. And in this, what you have to do that first we will talk about the Lagrange's one and you know that the polynomial would be of this form L0, Y0 plus L1, Y1 and up to so on Ln, Yn. This depends upon the number of the points that have been given to you. If they have mentioned that you have to uh, form a polynomial of degree 2 or 1 then of course it's already given mentioned in the question but if it is not mentioned in the question then you will see that how many points you have been given because the number will start from zero if you have four points it means it will go from zero one two three it would be a polynomial of degree three then right and if you have three points it means 0, 1, 2, it would be a polynomial of degree 2. This is the case when it's not mentioned, right? Don't go in this detail because what you have to do, you just have to form a polynomial and when you form a polynomial, then in the end you just have to take its derivative and that's it. Okay, come to the example. This is your example and you have to find the first and second derivative of Lagrange's interpolation for, uh, polynomial of degree 3 at this point for the following question, right? You can see this is, of course, an uh, unequally spaced data. This is the previous example that we have already done. First of all, what you have to do? You have to find a polynomial of degree. They have uh, already mentioned it. But if they wouldn't have mentioned it, then of course x0, x1, x2, x3, it means that I have to form a polynomial of degree up till 3. So the general form, it would be of this type L0, Y0 plus L1, Y1 into L2, Y2 and then plus L3 into Y3. And then you just know that in the upper half, you just have to skip not x minus x1, x minus x2 and x minus x3 over x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3. Similarly, for L1, you have to skip x1. What it would be? x minus x0, x minus x2, you can see, and x minus x3. Over x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, and x1 minus x3. Similarly, into y0, y1, and y2, and y3. So, you just have polynomial of this kind. Now, you just have to take its derivative. If they are demanding first and second derivative, this is the required polynomial. You just have to take the first derivative and put the value because they are uh, uh, asking you to interpolate at this point. Just put in 1.2 over here and just calculate the value. Similarly, you can take the second derivative. Just put in the value and simply calculate its answer. Like up till here, you have already done this kind of work when I was talking about the interpolation formulas, right, for unequally spaced data. Now, if you have a polynomial, you just have to take first, second or third derivative and just put in the value. This is a one or two second step, right. These are the questions that you have to do, question number four from chapter number four. And similarly, I'm not going in the details. This is the differentiation formula based on the Newton's divided difference the polynomial would be of this form i have already made it clear x minus x naught uh, you had this x minus x naught into x minus x one this product of course this would make a polynomial and when you have its polynomial a general polynomial it would be a function of x then whatever its derivative is required just take the derivative put in a point and you can easily interpolate the derivatives. So the questions that are related, you can uh, simply do those, right? Thank you. If you have any queries, just please ask me. And this will just complete the chapter number five. And we are only left with one chapter. Thank you.